Hi folks, uh, back to Fort. Uh, welcome back to Factorio Modded. Uh, I'm bored Bob, your host. Um, so uh, we're down here in our in our initial oil processing area um, because, uh, as you can see, we've uh, we're getting sparse on our plastic. I uh, went ahead and added a balancer here um, because, of course, these guys are all putting it all on the one side. So I I added a balancer in to kind of even things up on the line and that that'll help with that but because we now have more of a demand for plastic I wanted to uh, come down here and I wanted to uh, get us set up with with some more uh, uh, some more pr production for that so uh, let's go up here and grab our stuff one of the things I did um, and let me go ahead and get rid of all this stuff while I'm thinking of it is I went down here and I cleaned out uh, all the trees and the rocks and stuff um, using the destruct the uh, de deconstruction planner and the and the bots. So um, so let me go ahead and snag everything out of here um, and uh, we'll we get going. So um, one of the things we want to do, like I say, is we want to increase our plastics production. So let's come down here and grab some chemical plants and we're already pretty much set up down here for this we're just gonna gonna add on to it um, so let's uh, give ourselves a little bit of room to kind of squeeze in here um, because uh, of the way we've kind of got this set up so there's that one and there's going to be a second one. So put that down. Grab ourselves some inserters, and we're going to tap off this coal line here. Um, do 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 pipes. So we'll put a pipe between that one and a pipe between that one. And then, where's our elbows? There's our elbows. Come out, line it up with uh, our petroleum gas line. There we go. And stick that in there. Stick a straight pipe. Uh, we're going to want a straight pipe, and then we're going to want to tap into the line itself. All right, so now we have our uh, inputs. Let's get our outputs. Right, right, we're all set there. So now all we need is our, uh, our power. So one there, one there and tell it to start making plastic there we go so now that's going to give us a bit more plastic We're, we'll start seeing more on the line which um, will fill it up now one thing though that we uh, now right now you're not seeing any moving because right now if you notice it is daytime it's 81 percent brightness um, that's one of the other things that this this EVO uh, GUI uh, does is it tells you, you you can look at time you can look at brightness um, incidentally we're we're almost we're at 89 percent biter evolution so we are certainly getting there and we've been playing a total of four days um, on this mod now that's that's not just four days that's I'm pretty sure that's 20 you know 24 hours I don't think it's since the time that we um, installed the GUI I think that is total game time so you know there we go so anyway um, okay now it's starting to get dark you can see it's getting dark let's t let's grab one of our power poles and take a look see our solar power is going down during the day we are making enough solar that it completely shuts down our steam engine plant we've got 2.2 K of solar um, at 60 kilowatts apiece so we're doing good on the solar um, now the way this is running right now is at night 
it's not drawing from the accumulators at all and the reason for that is we haven't gone over here to the plant and we haven't told the plant to only run if the accumulators are low so at some point we will need to do that so right now you're seeing that the plants are running at night and look at this when they're running man we are going through tons and tons of coal and uh, you're seeing we're starting to get gaps and the reason we're starting to get gaps guys is uh, this big coal patch that we had down here is just about tapped out look at all those idle drills um, we're gonna have to come down here and we're gonna have to clean this up now luckily we happen to have another coal patch right over here that's that's uh, four million so we'll be able to tap off of that and bring that over with no problems we got another two million here um, what have you We've got a few outlying what not you know 1.6 here etc 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 but very soon we're gonna start um, being able to support ourselves with just the solar for the most part um, and ultimately that will be our go-to power source between that and and nuclear power um, but in the meantime we're really hitting this this uh, coal hard luckily though it's only at night now let's look at our fluids we've got petroleum gas is looking really good Of course it's going to start dropping a little now because of the fact that um, we are uh, using our, um, our our more we're producing more plastic so hopefully that will start to drain out some of this uh, light oil and start converting some of this light oil into petroleum gas um, and then we're, we're starting to see a little bit more of a buildup on heavy oil our big problem right now is our light oil is not below max and therefore our refineries really aren't kicking in all that much every once in a while they'll kick on and they'll make up a little bit what have you um, but they're not really doing a whole lot we may end up having to put in um, some more chem plants to do some more cracking of our light oil into our uh, into our um, petroleum gas but as it stands right now I mean we're, we're maxed out on petroleum gas as well so the only thing we're, we're, we're behind on is our heavy oil and we're doing everything we can to drop these these other two low level to lower levels um, to, to in order to, to have the uh, refineries kick on but um, one of the things that we're going to start doing is of course we're, we're making red circuits but now we have the ability to make blue circuits we're also going to want to start producing lasers um, more and lasers require batteries there's a few other things of course that require batteries um, our accumulators require batteries etc cetera, etc cetera. so as we're building up here we're gonna start needing more and more of that now right now we're just converting a couple of plants to uh, hydro or to sulfuric acid um, and they're doing it as needed um, for the most part in fact we only have one plant that's just that's a tank my bad we have we have one plant producing sulfur and one plant producing sulfuric acid now that means that, that this was kind of our, our bootstrap operation what have you we need to start making um, sulfuric acid with um, a purpose and the reason for that of course is eventually we're going to have to start uranium uh, mining uranium as well so we need to really kind of start getting serious about our um, our uh, sulfuric acid production so what we are going to do is we're going to come down here and we are going to set up um, a plant right in this area just to produce sulfuric acid um, so so that's my plan now in looking at this let's take a look here in order to produce sulfuric acid one of the things of course we need is sulfur I'm not worried about the water I'm not worried about the armor plate um, or the iron plate but let's look at this we need five sulfur for for each plant to produce one second so that means every second it's going through five sulfur now sulfur production produces two sulfur every one second so that means in order to meet our demand for our sulfur 
our, for, our sulfur demands for a sulfuric acid, we need two and a half, basically, um, plants producing sulfur to meet the needs of two sulfuric acid plants. So if we do that, it, 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 we can't really do um, two and a half, but what we can do is five, right? So for every five uh, sulfuric acid plants, we can, or for every five sulfur plants, we can run two sulfuric acid plants. So if we run four um, sulfuric acid plants, we can run. Well, we we need to run ten sulfur plants. Is that? I hope that makes sense to everybody. Um, so that's our plan. We are going to make ten sulfur plants and feed them into four sulfuric acid plants, and then we're going to go from there and put that in tanks and fill our tanks up. So let's put down. Let's start by putting down our plants for our uh, for our sulfur. And what we're going to do is, I think we'll go down here because one of the things um, that you need for this is you need uh, the petroleum gas. Um, the other thing you need is you need water. Now, this coal is eventually going to go away, so I'm not too worried about being down here because eventually this line will go away and we won't need it. But I want to be down here near my uh, petroleum gas and kind of out of my way out of the way so we have room to put in more tanks later and things like that so let's uh, so let's plop these suckers down and let's do it um, down here close to the um, close to the coal production because eventually like I say this is going to go away so we're, we're not really worrying about it too much I don't think so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them up here a little bit so that we're we're kind of away from that but I want to start it you know somewhere in this area let's you know we got this feed over let's give ourselves because I'm gonna have to run pipes to this for water and I'm gonna have to run pipes to this for um, for petroleum gas so so I need to leave myself some room to be able to set up some pipes so let's see one two three four five all right and then let's give ourselves a gap because we're going to do this in groups of five so one two three four do is that going to be in our way don't th well you know what yeah because we've got a pipe there um and then we got pipe on this to, and we got two inputs that we got to use let's let's move let's move down one more. Let's get out of the way of this pipe. Um, two, three, four. Um, that's five. And then one, two, three, four, five. I think I think we can get past that because we can we can. Uh, we can run a pipe over here, not a problem. We can we can we can pipe under this and under this, and this will eventually go away anyway. So I think that'll work. Um, so that's going to be our sulfur production. Like I say, we need water and we need petroleum gas. So let's go ahead and tell these guys, oops, that that's what we are going to make is these guys are going to make sulfur. Beep, 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 beep. Alright, so now we know where we need to go into these ones. And what we're going to do is we're going to separate this out. So one, two, three, four, five, right? Let's come right to the edge of it. And then that gives us five and five. That gives us our two sulfur uh, plants or our, our 10 sulfur plants but but divided into twosies right yep okay and then here here 
here, here, here. Okay, so now they're going to come out and go on to this belt, and this belt is going to feed four um, sulfuric acid plants. So where are... There we are. Okay, we're going to need one more, apparently. Um, we got enough stuff? Yeah, one. All right, so... Each one is going to feed two, so we're going to want... Uh, inserter we're going to want room for it and you know what let's let's offset this by one if we offset this by one we can bring a pipe up through here right and 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 avoid our uh, other piping so let's go there that's two let's go there and there right that's four so that's that gives us our four um, so now we're going to want sulfur coming into those I wonder wait a minute you know what let me see something can we offset them and at the same time go to the end of that belt no well yes Will that offset? No, that won't offset there. It will offset here, though. What I'm trying to do, um, you know, I'm scratching my head a little bit here, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to leave one extra space on the end of this belt um, so that everything kind of comes down to here. These should be sucking this off fast enough as fast as these guys are replacing it it should be pulling it back off so we should never start to get a backup until production here slows down um, so I want it to go all the way down here so that it's it's pulling off so I think what we are going to end up having to do is this if we go up one more space. No, we're gonna have to go. If we go, we go. We gotta go two spaces. All right. I guess we're gonna have to live with it. I guess we're just gonna have to live with it. Um, maybe it won't make such a big deal. So if we go here, no, because that lines us up. If we go, we gotta go here, or we gotta go here right and we go here all right one two come on make a decision shit or get off the pot one of the two so we'll just get rid of this one and we'll do it that way and we'll go here 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 right and then this is going to make sulfuric acid which requires a water input There we go. And what else does it require? It requires iron plates. Okay? So, that gives us that. Now let's bring our water down and bring our um, our petroleum gas down and get those hooked into the system as well. So, our water is way up here. Not that way, but way enough. Alright, so we want to bring our water down. Now, yeah, let's put it in to ground pipes, right? Just to keep it from interfering with things as much as we can. We got to bring it all the way down here. Okay. Yeah, that's what I that's what I see now that's what I was afraid of. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to avoid. So we can either go here or we can go here and we can put an extra one in. Um and I think what we're going to do Well, um, you know what? Let's do this. Right? Let's put this one in, because this is gonna be where our water comes in. 
and we're gonna go down as far as well no because we want it we want it hmm I think we want it here I think yeah we want it here because then we can ooh no we don't all right this is gonna be a pain in the butt but you know what let's do this see this is temporary anyway this is coming out so let's do this let's look and see okay this is our accumulator charge right now we're running off the of solar panels so this will slow down anyway if we do this quickly enough what we can do is this right here right now it's daytime it's not killing us right right there now 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 the coal's out of our way we're going to take that those lines up anyway once that coal plays out so if that comes in there and we do this because what I want is there pipe there right and then we can come down oops now the water comes there ish I think yeah what do you know perfect all right so the water comes up there and the reason I did that is because what I want to do is I want to yeah I want to screw myself over is what I want to do well maybe maybe not let's try something if we come down by one right is that that won't reach there but it'll reach there right and then we can do that and then we can do that yeah there we go okay we'll probably have to do that with the other one as well let's put this um, all this coal we just picked up let's put it up here in this chest for now get it out of our way all right there we go now we've got some some room to work all right so we got water there and water there oops water there water there Seriously? What are there? All right, you know what? Screw it. I don't care if the we'll, we'll run one line and if the plant if it, if it shuts down, I mean it's got it's got coal coming from the other one. Um and we'll 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 cross that bridge when we come to it. Probably should have done that in the first place. Um, <sighs> Seriously. All right. You know what? We'll, we'll live with it. We'll, we'll, yeah. We'll move some stuff around with the coal in a minute. All right. So that's going to give us the water. Now, can we do this? Can we tap into that? Yes. This will 
allow us to be able to at least run back and forth between these pipes. Oops. Whoa, did that do a... Let me see something. No, I didn't think it did. It just looked like it for a minute. I don't know if you caught that. It looked to me like it had put in a straight pipe automatically between these, and it hadn't. But that was going to be cool if it had, because that would make things kind of neat. I, I would be able to lay things out a little better. All right, so look. So there's our water coming in, right? So now we got to come in with our petroleum gas. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come in here, and we're going to tap into this line that's already running for our petroleum gas. So we're going to here to here. All right, fine. Here to here, here to here. Right, and then one more to the power pole. <laughs> All right, well, that's okay. You go away. We're going to put you back, but we're going to put you back in a different place. How about here? Does that make you happy? Good. Makes you happy. Makes me happy. That's the important thing. I'm happy. If I'm happy, then, then you'll be happy. If I'm not happy, well, that's life. Alright, you go away for a minute. Um, so we still got to put one of these in somewhere and make it reach, right? We can't make it do there. There we go. Will that reach there if we put that there? Yeah, good enough for now. It's out of my way, maybe. We'll see. Alright, hook these up. Right, and now everybody should have petroleum gas. Right, is everybody happy now? All of you guys are feeding you guys. Right, and that's our water. Good. Now, let's, before we run our coal, Let's make sure we got all our hookups for here because now we need to bring water down from here. And that was the whole point of offset. Off. I thought we offset these. We offset those ones. We didn't offset these two. These ones are not offset. Okay, so those can go right through there. These, it's got to go there or there. And we can't go there with it because that is on top of the other one. So we got to go there and there. Right? Right. All right. Fine. Fine. All right. So if we move that one up there, move that one there, yeah, that'll give us our... Okay. Maybe we'll even... We'll see. We'll see. Um, so these are going to make sulfuric acid. So it doesn't matter which one of these we come out of because that's water. Um, and it goes into both of them. So if we do that... There. See, that's what I was trying to do was this. This will work. I think that'll work okay. Because then... No, it won't. No, it won't. Fudge going to have to go there because this is the offset pipe. This one is the one that's offset to the next one. Right? And then that is going to go there and tap into our water. And then that is going to do that. 
good thing we we waited on the coal. Um, otherwise, we'd be cussing. Um, yeah, all right, there. So that's going to bring... So we got water into these. I got water in that one. I got water in that one. All right, good. That's my offset for that one. And all right. So this to here. This to here. Right? Right. Then that to there that to there alright alright we can't walk through there but we can still go there and walk through there alright so that gives us we got water here we got water here alright that gives us our water so let's go back and fix our coal problem now All right, what we can do is we can do this. We can bring this over here and stick a splitter there. Stick a splitter there. That goes to there. And then this is going to have to run to that one. Will it reach this? Oh, you SOB. Really? There's her coal coming out of that. Why is it only coming out of one side? Oh, I know why. We don't have that yet. And then this. That's weird. Oh, I know why. Let's do this. Right now it's coming out of both sides. There we go. Okay. Whew. Losing my mind. All right. So now this. Here. Still going to back and fix that water. but we'll fix that in a second. Right? How's that looking? All right, we got we got coal coming out of both of these. Boy, that coal is looking less and less hopeful all the time, ain't it? All right, now where was the one water? Right here, wasn't it? That we've got to bring water to here. Well, can we? No, because we can't do that. We can do this, though. We can do it here, right? And then, because remember, water seeks its own level, and apparently in this game it's all the same pipe, right? So if we bring one in there and one over there, we're good to go. Now, we are, like I say, big time sucking hind tit on coal. Um, we are going to have issues with power 
Um, but that is why we have those accumulators. Um, see, that should, during the day, make up for the night. Now, accumulators, um, they store five megajoules. And, and they're not going to tell us how many watts. I, I could do the math, I guess. Um, what I'd like to know, maximum output, 300 kilowatts total. So we're going to have to put a bunch of accumulators down, um, which is not a problem. We'll get to it. Um, we're back to nighttime, or to daytime. Our coal should start piling up again. We get this problem solved and we get this together, we'll go address our issue with our coal. Um, what is this pipe here? That needs to be like this because that is not hooked up there. Now that's hooked up. All right, now it looks like we have water, petroleum gas, 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 water, petroleum gas. Oh, that's always smart. At least it wasn't a flamethrower. Petroleum gas, water, petroleum gas, or a grenade. Grenades would have been bad. Um, this is where I think it would be neat if we had um, an issue where uh, where these things exploded, where where your where your petroleum products. Um, and Julie Fisher and I were discussing this the other day. Because um, we were talking about my last series with the with the where I was nuking everything, um, I nuked my my uh, petroleum plant and nothing blew up. It I mean it blew up because of the bombs, but it didn't blow up because it was an explosive material being subjected to a lot of fire. So, in my opinion, it would be kind of neat. If the mods made it so that, like, you know when you set the, the woods on fire, it spreads. It would be neat to me if the same thing happened with this, to, and you had the potential of explosions. Um, and then, like, you have the explosives in the game that later on you can build. Uh, if we could do that and have the explosives... Um, have the oper have the chance not necessarily all the time but but certainly have a percentage chance of setting off any explosive material next to it i think it would be neat um to uh have that because then you could like lay out a line of explosives to something and detonate it and 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 have it you know kind of domino effect so anyway just my thoughts. So let's let's worry about what we're doing right here because we've got a coal issue that we're going to have to deal with soon. So this is going to be our iron that we need for our sulfuric acid. We've got our water, we've got our sulfur that's going to come in. Now we need our iron. So what we're going to do is we are going to grab what little bit of belts we have left and we are going to run straight north with it. until we run out which is right about there because up here we have iron coming in um, from our main plant so let's go up here um, now that we're this far and grab uh, some more iron because I want to get this all set up um, and then we can set up our tanks and we can we can go from there. Um, boom, 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 boom. I need to get the I need to get my provider chest set up so that I can just come, and my logic or my my logistics network set up so that I can just be supplied with them. This running back and forth is getting stupid. And you know what else is stupid? We're not researching a damn thing right now. That's stupid too. 
ABR, always be researching. Right? There we go. All right. That gives us a few. Don't run on the belts in the opposite direction. It's like trying to go up the down escalator. Although, that is kind of fun. I don't know if anybody's ever tried that, but uh, if you get bored one day, try running down the up escalator or up the down escalator. It's a workout. All right, let's get on the iron line and that'll help us move faster. And we will get down here. And we will hook this up. There we go. We want to be facing south. that line right there let's get rid of this coal that we're carrying around um, we'll take that over and put it into the train station at some point uh, splitter there we go so now we got iron going down to our sulfur production. Right. So there is everything we need for our production. Right? Right. Research something else. So let's go over here and set up now where are we going to set this up at we got the one here we may have just screwed ourselves up with placement because um, I'd like to to kind of keep the same let's see what is this one two right between them so one two so the first one should be there one two, three, four, yeah, let's go around it, always use the iron plates. So, that's five, right? So let's turn these the way they're supposed to be turned. And then... I'm so used to double clicking on the R to flip flip it all the way around. There's only two directions this can go. So it's one single one single turn and it gets it there. But I'm so used to doing it that way. All right, so this is going to give us plenty actually. Let's 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 not let our OCD get the better of us. That should be all the sulfuric acid we are going to need for a good long time. 
Um, and the thing with it is, is eventually we will set these up to monitor all of these um, with circuits and uh, what have you. So now we are ready to hook up the output to them. So let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. Right? And that can come up here. Oops. Up here. And then that'll go along there or along there. Awesome sauce. Sort of. Let's back it up by one. All right. There we go. And then we're going to put these pipes in. So that is the entirety of our sulfuric acid setup, right? Cool. So now I have one more thing that I want to show you guys. Um, I have added another mod to this, um, and the mod is um, a mod that gives you um, some additional valves. Uh, for the game. Off the top of my head, I can't remember exactly what the name of the mod is. Um, it's in. I'll, I'll put it in a doobly-doo. Um, and what I'm going to do is we're going to we're going to we're going to break away from this right here. I'm going to show you um, how this mod works, and then we're going to come back and uh, we're going to finish up this particular setup. Um, so let's break away to that. I'm going to show you what it does and then, uh, and then we'll continue on with this. Um, so let me pause this recording for now and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so here we go. So this is, uh, the name of this mod is Flow Control. And, uh, what it does is it adds, um, some, some kind of redundant pipe to the system and it adds... Um, more importantly, a couple of valves to the system. So the pipes that it adds to the system um, are as follows. And I forgot to put one of these down. Um, basically, it adds a, uh, a straight pipe, right? You got a you got a straight pipe, which is just the same as the the pipe. I mean, that's straight pipe and that's pipe and and they basically do the same thing um, the same thing goes for this next one that's a t-junction pipe well here it just automatically does it um, so you know it's it's a little bit redundant I guess if you want to put it in there for looks you could you could put it in there same thing goes with the elbow pipe now you have an elbow pipe over here you just have a regular pipe over here but it conforms to whatever direction you want now maybe there are some reasons for this maybe you want to run something down and you want to pre-route it a certain direction but you don't want to hook up to it aesthetically these might work better for you um, I don't know but but those are not really what I was interested in this mod for. What I was interested in this mod for is for these three valves right here. Um, I wish there was a fourth valve. I wish there was a cutoff valve, but but there is not. Um, and who knows? Maybe maybe if the the person that wrote this mod uh, hears this, maybe they'll maybe they'll add one. But anyway, here's what we got. So I've got four tanks here. Um, we filled them up from over here and then I turned this pump off. Now as you guys know um, basically right now the only valve we have to shut things off and shut things down is a, is, is a pump. And you can put a pump in there and give it a signal and, and shut it off and turn it on. So what I did is I just put down a desider combinator for, uh, just for the signal. We got an output of one and since we're working on sulfuric acid over there I just Sulf, said sulfuric acid. So if sulfuric acid is greater than zero, it'll output. Of course it's not, 
we don't have any sulfuric acid so it's zero so it's putting out no signal or it's putting out a zero signal to this sulfuric acid is 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 that now if we had this in the system what we could do now I could do the same thing just by having done it over here and said this is zero blah 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 but anyway now if I change this to equals to what it's going to do is essentially act as a flow valve we're going to open it or close it so if I put it to equal zero of course it's going to send a one count and it's going to turn our pump on and our tanks going to start filling right so this will this is what everybody um, basically right now uses as a control valve is a pump and it works I wish we had a control valve control valve but we don't so let me go ahead and turn this one on oh it's already on so it should already be uh, pumping this back out and emptying this tank alright so that so you guys I'm sure most of you are already familiar with that you've seen it um, what have you now I want to run this tank is I'm not gonna wait for it to get to zero because it slows down the faster it goes um, or the the lower it goes it slows down but I want to get it close to zero because I want to show you the function of these other three valves and I think that's probably close enough yeah there we go so let's let's turn this pump off now right and all this pump here is for is to take our our fluid out of our out of our main tanks into our demo tanks so the first valve we have is a check valve and they call it a flow they they, they call it a non-return valve it's a check valve it only allows liquid flow in one direction I don't know if you can see on these models but they've modeled in an arrow here here and here to show the direction of the flow now now I put a green wire on here just to show you there's really nothing you can do with this other than read the contents right so you can read the condition of the of the uh, valve into the system that sort of thing um, but anyway probably most of you are familiar with what a check valve does and if you're not basically what a check valve does it is allows fluid to go in one direction but not the other way so you can't basically siphon back out the wrong direction um, from something so if you've got like a bunch of tanks in a field and they're all full of fluid and you add another tank down here the way that Factorio works is it's going to put more it's going to level them all out they're all going to become equal if I put a check valve in the way and I tell it it's only allowed to flow into these tanks if I put a tank here it's not going to flow back into that tank and I'll show you what I mean grab a pipe and we're gonna put a pipe here now normally if this was just a straight connection my fluid would be coming out of here and it would be coming in and filling these tanks up right but it's not because this is a check valve if I reverse the direction of the valve now it's allowing that liquid to flow into that tank so it, it allows flow in one direction but not the other direction I can see this being handy for tank farms and things like that um, and places where um, you're probably going to take uh, piping out later and you don't want to lose fluid uh, that sort of thing I can see this coming in handy um, for for that sort of an application so let's get rid of that valve so now we that's our check valve um, really handy I think it's going to come in handy for a lot of things um, and that was why I wanted to show you this demo because I'm going to put check valves in from now on um, into my system so my plan is when we go back over there and we set those tanks up I'm going to be setting check valves in there so let's pump this back down and then I'm going to show you the next two um, and I'm going to show you why I think they're use and I'm going to tell you why I think they're useful um, so we've got this pump down um, pretty much um, and the reason I want to pump it down is because of fluid levels these next two valves operate off of fluid levels um, and percentage of fluid levels so there we go it's close enough we can shut this off now um, so now these next two you'll notice one of them already has a green light on it it's already enabled the other one is not 
Now these two valves operate on an 80% condition. This one allows flow when the input is over 80% full. So the arrow is pointing this way, so this of course is your input. Same here, the arrow is pointing that way, this is your input. So this says that if the input is over 80% full, you can flow it out to the next tank. That's for overflowing, right? So if you've got a bunch of tanks and they're starting to fill up and you want to maintain a fluid level in these tanks, but at the same time you don't want your um, your uh, your refinery to shut down because the tank is full, you can set this in there and have some extra backup tanks that will only get deposited into when this tank is more than 80% full. Now right now there's it's disabled because there is no input. So the input is not over 80% full because there's just no input. Right? So if we put this here, this still is not letting flow go through. And the reason it's not letting flow go through is as you can see, these tanks are 25k tanks they're only got 17k in them so it's not over the 80 percent but if we go over here and we allow this tank to start filling and watch, watch this condition as this tank fills and when it reaches a certain point you see it's starting to allow flow right and now suddenly as it's building up now we're allowing fluid to go into this tank right and this will pick up faster and faster and faster and it seems to to if you watch the the graph uh, watch the little graphics it seems like it flows at different rates depending on how much of a difference there is there so it's allowing this tank to fill up um, and it reads contents what have you. So it's only going to allow it to go in until that tank is at 80 percent fullness. After that it's going to stop again. It's going to it's going to shut it down and it's going to shut your flow down. So you're going to keep this tank not completely full but you're going to keep it at about 80 percent full. See how it's starting to starting to slow down now as this tank fills and it should stop here pretty soon see it, you can you can see it slowing down it's not transferring nearly as fast as it was and it's going to hit a point where eventually it will stop stop allowing that to flow so that's an overflow valve so that you can maintain high levels in these tanks but also have a backup tank that that it can go into if you're if you're trying to get stuff to produce through your refinery or wherever um, but you don't want it to have all the tanks constantly filled so so to me that's the usefulness of this valve is I can have some backup tanks and allow those backup tanks to uh, to fill um, themselves so so there's that one so let's pump that back out or at least a, a fair fair portion of it and while we're while we're letting that pump back out right and back into these tanks it's probably going to actually end up filling these tanks completely so let's let's add another couple of tanks just to give it some room to pump into all right there we go so now this next tank is a top up valve and what it does is it measures that same 80% but the flow is in the, the, the measurement is in the other direction. In other words, if the output is less than 80% full, in other words, these tanks are less than 80% full, it doesn't care how full these tanks are. It's going to allow this to flow until these tanks fill up to their 80% capacity. Now, we're going to get rid of one of these tanks just to show. Okay. Um, so I got four tanks here, and they're, they're pretty full, what have you. And we're pumping out of there. We can we can kill that now. So let's go in here. 
and we'll kill we'll kill that pump again right so it's not pumping out of these tanks so now as you can see this condition is is green if we switch this around oops put the pipe down right actually I guess it's still good maybe it's green because it's reading these I don't know. anyway it'll only it'll it'll it will only work in the one direction it'll it'll only work if our conditions are met I, I'm not sure what the let's try something here right yeah so maybe it's reading from there I don't, I'm not sure why it's reading but it's reading so whatever where's our connection on this stupid thing I don't know anyway we won't worry about it we'll pick the tank up put it down um, so I mean I'm still just learning about the these valves so so I'm not real sure on on you know the the uh, the logistics on it but anyway what this does like I say is we'll only allow it to flow uh, in that if, if it's over 80 now we can swap this around right and it will only allow it to flow until this tank is at its 80 percent well it's at 80 percent I mean so it's not going to allow this to flow through but this tank is empty if we switch this around it's going to sense that this tank is less than 80 percent full and it's going to allow it to flow and it's going to allow this tank to fill up. Now, as this tank fills up, of course, like I say, it does not care what these tanks are doing. All it cares about is this tank over here. And you can watch as it gets to the 80% mark. See how it's starting to slow down? The fluid flow is starting to slow down on it. When it hits that 80% mark, and these are what, 25K tanks? So what's 80% of 25K? Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, use the calculator just to make sure my math is right. Yeah. So 20, 20k. So when this tank finally gets to 20k, it's gonna stop letting it flow. Now it's slowing down as it goes. I guess if we put a pump on there, it probably wouldn't slow it down as much. But but ultimately, if these tanks hold 25k then then 20k is our max and it's gonna but you notice it's it, it okay well you know what because it evened it out all right so let's let's turn this on all right let's start putting some more fluid in here because it's it went to the 17k and stopped because that's what's in these ones too so we'll, we'll pump these back up to higher than 17 Or to higher than higher than the twenty. We'll fill them all the way up, as a matter of fact. Right. So we're up at twenty, twenty three, twenty four k right now. If we look at this tank, it's only twenty k, and it's going to stay twenty k, regardless of how full these get, because it's only going to allow it to be filled to the eighty percent mark by that valve. Now. If we wanted to keep it right at 80%, we could reverse the, or we could put this valve the other way and 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 keep them back and forth. But anyway, this is the three new valves um, that this this that this uh, fluid this this flow control mod allows. Um, and like I say, I can see a whole lot of, of applications for these in our fluid system. Um, it gives you a little bit more control, and control is a good thing. So there we go so that's that I, I hope that's helpful to you guys I'm not necessarily the best at, at explaining it but I think it it kind of makes sense I hope it does and uh, I know it's going to extend this video some but you know uh, I, I think it's useful information so there you go so we'll, we'll, we'll go back on over All right, guys so so we're back over here um, I thought of one more reason uh, or one more thing that this this check valve would be handy for um, say you have two systems that require the same fluid but you want to prioritize one of those systems you want to make sure say my battery manufacturing is always getting sulfuric acid I'm not too worried about whether all of my 
uh, uranium mining is getting it. They both need sulfuric acid, but I don't want my battery production to stop when I run low on sulfuric acid. If I were to put a check valve in here, what that would prevent is that would prevent this tank from robbing from this tank to balance out the fluid. So if I've got my input coming in here um, from from my from my uh, from my uh, chemical plants and it's filling this tank first and then it's and then and and what have you um, and I could put into both tanks I could put another check valve here coming from the plant into both tanks so that it doesn't backflow but if this production were to die off and there was no more fluid coming into here and no more fluid coming into here and these two outputs are still sucking out this tank would go empty this tank would only go empty based on the flow out of this tank it would not backflow into this tank and excuse me and feed your other system so there's another reason for the check valve you can use it to prioritize your systems so so there's that that's the check valves that's the the the, the check uh, the the flow control mod and like I say I'm gonna start using these check valves I'm gonna start putting check valves into my systems so that um, I can have some some positive control on those so now the way I've got it hooked up it will allow it to flow into this system but it won't allow it to flow back out so if I put a supplementary tank over here for something else it's not gonna rob out of this system to feed it um, so that was that was my idea there and that's why I that's why I chose to put this mod in there um, I can see a lot of reasons for it I can see a lot of handiness for it so let's set our power down now that we're done running our yap and uh, and get this thing going uh, put it there and make sure that this is is producing um, I know this is going to be a little bit of a long video because of all of this but um, but I thought that was really kind of useful information I thought it was pretty important to, to pass this on to you guys so that uh, you know you had another tool for your toolbox so there we go so now everything should be hooked up let's hook up our power and make sure this is working and if this is working we're in business and there we go looky there we're getting our sulfuric acid all right so now we're in the sulfuric acid business it does not look like this is is getting overly burdened what I may want to do is this I think I want to put a second inserter in here in each of these and I apparently I did not put an inserter in that other one um, so now it's got one oops there we go so now these should keep up with these and we'll have a constant flow out of here um, at least until these all fill up all right guys so there we go um, hope you learned something from that I hope it was useful I can see myself using these valves a lot more when when we start getting serious about setting this up I mean we're sort of serious now we, we've got some serious production going and what have you but um, I can see some some very useful means of, of controlling my plants with this so I hope that you know got you something and uh, what have you comment on it if you don't understand something with it I'll be happy to try and help you out like I say the link for it will be down in the doobly-doo and uh, you know I hope it's some good information for you guys you know if it is give me a like on it you know comment on it subscribe what have you um, and you guys have a good night and I will uh, talk at you later